football crazy, he's football mad. The football age has taken away the little bit of sense he had, for it would take a dozen sorrows. Eight huge screens, 30 feet by 40, were put up on the pitch at Anfield, Liverpool's home ground, for here, a capacity crowd, were to watch the Merseyside Cup battle, Everton versus Liverpool. So after 30 years, the English Cup returns to Manchester. I lad, it's been to London for the weekend, and it's back in Lancashire again now. This is how Manchester received them. Manchester City take the field at Main Road for a clash with their neighbours, Manchester United. 75,000 fans are there for the local duel. Over to Hayes, who shoots immediately, and City have scored. Woods punch clearance lands at Webby's feet and it's a goal. By 2-0, Manchester City knock their neighbours out of the cup. 2-0 per il Milan. Il Milan ha segnato in questo momento con Barisoni il secondo gol. Pertanto Milan 2, Ipsic 0. È il decimo minuto del primo tempo e il Milan sta conducendo per 2-0 nei confronti della squadra campione d'Inghilterra, l'Ipswich. Ipswich. Inter Milan looked really dangerous here. Capellini was brought down by Craig. A penalty. With the spot kick, Mazzola made no mistake. Yes, this is Lisbon, home base of countless adventures of the sea. However, Lisbon certainly doesn't live in the past. The players of the Sporting Club of Portugal. It's the first leg of the European Cup Winners' Cup. Fernando Mendes leads the Lisbon team. Bobby Charlton and Coluna exchanged Manchester United and Benfica pennants. Benfica pulled off a beauty through Grasa. One all and time running out. Stepney was a wonder goalkeeper to stop that rocket from the big cannon boot of Eusebio and the great Portuguese star sportingly acknowledged it. We're about to make a novel sightseeing tour of London, yes, by helicopter. On paper, it looked a cup clash of the century, an action that's just what it turns out to be. Arsenal attacking the goal to your right and Chelsea make it a cup semi-final to remember. Do you recognise this badge? It's the mark of the Tottenham Hotspur Club. And here's the manager, Mr Percy Smith, with five of his players. First you meet Hunt, the international centre-forward. Clever footwork and remarkable shooting power. Fulham in white shirts kicked off at Upton Park in the London fifth round cup derby against West Ham. Nearly 38,000 sent the gate money soaring about 5,000 pounds. Of Britain's five million soccer fans, only a few appreciate the work involved in running a successful club. We have some of the finest players in the game today and they will certainly be leaving their mark in league football. And as we leave the Arsenal players removing the marks of their last rehearsal for the big show, they assure us that their best turn is still good footwork. Good footwork.